Hey everybody, thank you for joining in. Today we're going to take a look at the Artery Baton Kit by Artery Vapor. This was sent over to me by Artery Vapor. Thank you for sending this over for review. This is a regulated tube mod. It's going to be similar to a few months back. I had done a uh, review on another regulated tube mod from uh, EH Pro. This one's very similar to it, but I'll talk about it as we go over it. And then at the very end, I'll give you my final thoughts on to it. But this is a 27 millimeter uh, mod that kind of tapers down to about 24 millimeters over into here. And uh, so then it's got a nice little taper to it, contour. And like I said, it is three, uh, it is regulated. So it's three clicks on, three clicks off. So if someone wants to get into getting into tube mods, but not really sure if they want to get into mechanical, this is a good way to kind of bring yourself into it. It does have a uh, port on the back for USB for charging, but it's, eh, I'm not, you know, it's a single battery. I mean, it's pretty safe with a single battery, but it's so easy to change out. This is compatible with 18650. 2700s and 21700s, so you've got a nice, it comes with a nice little adapter, so this thing will grow with you. Um, the tank that it comes with is the uh, Hive S tank, and I'll give you my thoughts on to that. Um, it is a uh, two millimeter capacity, but it does, they do give you a bubble tank with it. It makes it a three millimeter capacity. Comes with two coils, one installed, one that comes with it, it's 0.3 uh, mesh coil, and I'll give you my thoughts on to those as well also. I've been running this here for a little over a week or so, maybe a little bit longer than that. And, um, you know, it's it's got some nice little features onto it, which I'll, that, um, we'll, I'll talk about when we go down below there. And then also then we'll talk about the tank as well also. But what better way to look at it is just to dive down. So grab a vape and meet me down there. All right, so here we are down below. It tells you this is artery, baton kit. tells you that this product contains nicotine, which is highly addictive. On the bottom here it says baton kit here it's going to have all your social media their facebook and their instagram at artery vapor official it's going to have your security code here and authenticity here it tells you this is artery and here it tells you www.arteryvapor.com and on the upc it tells you that it's the baton kit and the color that this one is is in black this does come in four different colors it comes in black it comes in a blue it also comes in a red and black and a purple and bl uh, blue. <clears throat> so let's take this out here. Um, what comes in the kit? You get the baton kit. We'll take a look at that in a minute. You also get the Hive S tank, which comes preloaded with a 0 .03 ohm mesh coil, which they rate at 30 to 50 watts does come with a replacement coil we'll take a look at that in a minute comes gives you a different tank because the one that's installed is a two mil tank and they give you a bubble glass which makes it a three mil tank and then they also give you a bunch of o-rings for replacement very cool um, they give you a battery safety card here tells you this is what your battery should look like if it has any of these issues do not use them that's about it I like that they do put that in there they give you two different um, user manuals the one for the hive tank and it comes in multilingual multi-language and it's full of pictorials so it's very easy to understand but like I said it is in many different languages in front and back so everything you'll be able to find what you what you're looking for if you have any questions there <clears throat> and then they also have the regular baton user manual and again it's the same thing full of pictorials for different company uh, countries this one is uh, I could see the UK I can see United States there's all different ones here so they're all there so you'll be able to find what you're looking for there they also give you a certification that it's been QC'd 
And then they also give you a product information card that you should, everyone that should always fill this out when any product that you are purchasing, put all your information there because if there is any kind of warranty, you'll have all your information that you can, when you have to call them and contact them. And on the back it tells you all the warranty terms. So it's always good to have that on hand, just in case. Um, so let's take a look at the mod itself here. I'm going to move this out of the way because we already know this takes it from a 2 mil to a 3 mil. So let's get that out of the way. The mod itself here is 27 millimeters across the bottom, from bottom to the top, 93.15 millimeters long. It's made out of brass and aluminum. When you get to the top here, it is 24 millimeters. On the top, it does say artery baton. I don't know if the camera will pick that up because it's, I'm still trying to figure out this new camera. Anyways, and then on the bottom here, it does have your vent holes. And again, it tells you that it says... It ain't gonna pick it up, but it says designed by Artery, and then it has their number onto it onto it here. It does come with a USB charging port. Eh, you'd be safe with it because it is only gonna be one battery, but I still prefer it's just simple to unscrew this battery here and replace it. This will take all three different types of batteries. It'll take the 18650, it'll take a 21700, and it'll also take the 2700. They do give you a an adapter. For the 18650, you would put your battery into there, which I'll show you afterward. And as you can see, that it is made out of brass. And on the bottom there, it tells you that it shows you that there's a negative sign right there. It tells you negative down, so positive up onto that. This right here is a is a tube mod, but it is regulated. It's full of all different types of uh, safety features onto it. Um, I'll tell you some of the safety features that it does have. It uh, has short circuit protection, reverse battery protection, low voltage and weak battery protection. Also has a 10 second cutoff so if the button's stuck 10 seconds it's going to shut down. If it overheats or overcurrent it'll shut itself down also. It has a resistance range from 0 0.1 to 3 ohms. 0 0.1. Uh, output range is 3 volts to 4.2 volts. Very very cool. We'll take a look at that um, in a second here. Let's take a look at the tank real quick here. Uh, this is the hive tank and it says artery here, hive S here. And now this right here is 24 millimeters going across this way with the straight tube, but when you put the bubble glass in, it'll put, make it to 27 millimeters onto it. Um, it is 39.8 39 millimeter, millimeters from the drip tip to the bottom of the tank, not including the 510. Um, like I had said, the straight tank is a 2 mil and the bubble tank is a 3 mil. It is made also of aluminum alloy, comes with a 0 0.3 coil like I uh, spoke about, uh, ohm that's in with mesh coil and it is rated for 30 to 50 watts and I'll take a look at the coil here. There's one that I have not used and see if it'll pick that up. The, you can see the mesh in there and on this side it tells you mesh. 0 0.3 and come on you know you wanna and it's not gonna but anyways it says over here 30 to 50 watts on your wattage and uh, this is has the 810 compatible drip tip here's the one that here and here's a couple different ones that I have just to show you that they all work very very easily work nice look nice snap right in there nice it's got that little inner o-ring there so if you have the 810 that has that you're in good you're in good position to open this up here to fill it you have the two big kidney openings on there and uh, you really don't need them to be that big because it's only a two mil tank but it is what it is um, it breaks down very simple on the bottom here has your regular 510. I wouldn't put it on anything else other than something like this here. Um, your air, what you have on this side is going to be on this side. It's 2 mils this way, 10 mils this way, so you've got a lot of adjustment that you can do. And it's wherever you put it, it stays. It's nice and tight. And then let's take the rest of this apart. See how easy it is to change everything and clean everything.
and that's it. You have all your parts there, your components, very simple. This coil I have been using, like I said at the beginning, I've been using it now eh, almost two weeks. Um, I've had some issues with it, I just didn't change it yet only because I wanted to do the review onto it before I change over to a new flavor and that's really what it came down to. I was being lazy. And uh, you put this all back together here. You just put the side that has your o-ring on, slide it onto your glass, slide it into here. If this was a new coil I would prime all four spots. This is a used coil so I don't need to. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up here with some lemon ecstasy from Adore E-Liquid. My all day every day so I know what it's supposed to taste like. I go through thousands of mils of this every year so I know exactly what this tastes like. And when I put that all together, we'll set that there for a minute. <clears throat> And uh, let's put some batteries into the mod itself. This mod is kind of intriguing. It's, uh, how can I say it? It reminds me of a, a mod I, I have done in the past. Hang on, I think I have it over here anyways. But if you wanted to put an 18650 into here, it's very simple. You would take your battery, which is, I'm using a Galisi Gold. Throw this in, top positive, pop positive side up, pop that in. This, That's what that sleeve does. It allows it so it doesn't move around. You just crank that right on there now. And then to turn it on, one, two, three, four, five. See the lights flashing? And then to power it, you would just hold press it down and one two three four five shuts it right back off for you so as you can see it takes an 18650 very easily I don't like to use 18650 if you wanted to use a 2700 this is also a Galicia they are a proud sponsor of this channel And now we'll go with one thing I did not mention about the tank that also comes in different colors this is a 21700 um, it comes in black blue red and purple and that's all in one two three four five what did I do put it Oh, there it is. I just wasn't pressing it right. All right, so let's throw this tank on, and uh, we'll take it up to the top and give you my final thoughts on this. All right, so welcome back up on top. So what you guys think of this, uh, the baton kit from Artery Vapor? It's not a bad little kit. Pros and cons. Let's just do it that way. It's just simpler. Pros the mod I like the mod it's very easy to use it's very pocket friendly um, like I said it's got all your protections into it so it's really a good mod especially like if you're at work and you don't want to bring one of your expensive mods or anything this right here will work very very well I like that you can use the 18650 the 2700s the 2170s um, it's very it doesn't feel cheap in your hands even though it's not an expensive mod it doesn't feel cheap it's got some nice weight to it and again like I said it's very comparable to the armor mod um, it's a little bit longer maybe a little bit fatter but overall I mean they're very similar and I use this one quite often as well also um, the mod like I said I like it I mean if it's someone that's just going that's just wants to see what a tube mod is like but they're really kind of hesitant on a uh, mechanical mod this one right here is not a bad way to go because it does give you those protections and it will fire all the way down to 0 0.1 that's huge um, let's talk about the tank now the tank 0.3 ohm coils sounds really good mesh coil sounds really good after about two three days of using this it just 
wasn't I mean the flavor was never spectacular but it was it was decent and good but it wasn't spectacular I there's a lot of other ones that are better um and as more and more you use it it just really fades and the, the liquid I'm using is <clears throat> lemon ecstasy from a door e-liquid and there's no sugars in here whatsoever so at least these coils with the mesh coils should be you know running strong and hard they they just kind of fade off and uh but what i did find out is just like with the armor um from eh pro you put an rda on there and it shines i'll take this off in there i mean it it works the flavor is just like i said after the first couple days it just it just started to give you that soppy damp flavor but when you put a rda onto this bad boy and i'll just use the the panther rda because it's all set up and it's what i'm using in there also is lemon ecstasy and it fits on there looks really nice on there and That's where this really, really shines, man. It works very, very well with your RDAs. With that tank, it just doesn't doesn't match up well. I'd go back to the drawing board with that tank for this mod here. I would look for maybe a different tank or even a compatible RDA like this one here. A single coil would be ideal. Uh, even like I said, nothing nothing really huge. It will fire down that low. So I mean, and you'll go all the way down to three volts, all the way up to four point two. So you've got a nice balance there. <clears throat> to me, that tank, eh, I would leave that behind. I'm using it because of the review, but other than that, I won't use it again after this review. The mod, yeah, I'll continue to use that. It's very comfortable. I, like I said, this would be a perfect work mod, just like my the armor does. It works very, very well for work. I can take it, throw it in my bag. I don't have to worry about it. It's rugged. It's made out of aluminum. If I drop it, it's going to be hard enough where it's not going to break. The mod is really nice. Um, don't have the prices and I don't have the links only because YouTube won't allow us to put the links on there. But if you go to www.arterivapor.com, just like on the box here, it says www.arterivapor.com. You go over there and you go over and check it out. Um, I know there's some websites that do have it on their website, but like I said, I couldn't find any prices, so I don't have any prices on to it. But if this is something you're interested in, Definitely go go Google it or go over to Artery Vapor and check it out. That's going to do it for tonight, folks. So until the next time. Keep vaping.